Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to talk about something I was really looking forward to and now it's official and I think it's one of the hottest topic in the GR Yaris community for quite some time. I'm gonna talk about the ECU that is finally cracked or I don't know whatever you want to call it but Autotuner is finally able to read and write the original ECU. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about that and what you may expect in the future and what we are gonna do with this news. So I was talking to a few friends. I have uh, actually two friends who work with Autotuner and they are both very excited about the news. So first things first, Autotuner doesn't map your car. They just have the tool available. So a tuner is able to read and write your ECU, which means you have now access to the ECU and you can, and you can have custom maps for your car. As far as I know, there are non generic maps out there. So no, so not just a stage one or a stage two tune or whatever you may call it. They are not available, at least not at the moment. I think further down the line in a, in a few weeks or months, even there will be a few maps available, just a, a basic stage one or stage two with some basic mods like uh, HJS downpipe, for example, or some intake manifolds or whatever. But the best thing is right now you can have your car custom tuned. So even if it's just a, a base map or just a, a stage one, as some call it, you can have that customized to your car because not every car is the same and so you have to adapt some things in the file to make it custom to your car and i can see some tuners jumping on the bandwagon for now because they see they can see it's a good business and uh, there are a lot of geo yaris drivers who want to have that little bit more power and so just be aware of what you may or what tuner you bring your car to because they have to be able to lock your car and adapt the file to it otherwise i wouldn't suggest just make a stage one just flash the car and go for it so most tunes or most custom tunes are roughly around between six, seven, eight hundred euros to a thousand, maybe. Depends on if you have it on a dyno, if you have a map it on the road or wherever. And so that's it. But for now, it's a bench map, which means the, it, they can't just flash it over the OBD port. They need to take the ECU out of the car, flash it on the bench. That's why it's called a bench, bench tune and then put it back in the car and try again. You will need a few locks to make sure it works and it works fine on your car. So you have to adapt it to your car and make sure there are no, no errors or uh, fault codes or whatever. So we're gonna work with I, maybe one or two uh, tuners to get, uh, as, as, as some call it, a stage one. Uh, with just the basic car, maybe even one with supporting mods like the HJS downpipe and we will get a custom tune for our car with the CTEC intake uh, full 3 inch exhaust without any OPF or CAT so that will definitely need a, a custom tune. One thing to be aware of, we have seen a few tuners run into certain valve float problems at a certain boost levels and certain power levels, even with the stock turbo. So that won't be a problem with just a, a basic stage, stage one. I just, I, I call it the stage one for now on. With just the basic stage one, you won't need upgraded valve springs because 
with uh, just a stage one, you will get to 300, maybe 310 horsepower. So, and maybe 70 newton meters more than stock. That won't be a problem for the OEM Wolf train. So you won't need to upgrade that. But as soon as you add an intake or maybe uh, even remove the OPF or don't even have a OPF in, in your country, you may come to a certain point where you will experience well float. And then you will need to upgrade the well train and uh, the well springs. It's quite a big task to do. It, it takes some time. We haven't done it yet, but uh, I'm quite certain we will do it in the near, near future with my car and maybe even cams, uh, camshafts. Because as soon as you remove the valve springs, you can do the cams as well, because it's basically not that much more work if you have everything in the open anyways. so. I don't know if it's possible to have a map switch. That's one of the questions I need answers to. And if it's possible to map it to E85 with the stock injectors. These are not big enough, I think. At least not the secondary injectors. Not the direct injection, but the port injection. And my personal favorite would be 350, 360 horsepower with upgraded valve train like cams and valve springs and on E85 because E85 just gives you lots of more options, lots more cooling, lots more power. I just love it. And it smells good as well. So. <laughs> but that's a, a thing for the future. And I don't know where we're gonna end with that. I need a few answers from from my friends if it's possible to map the car the way I want it to. I'm not gonna buy a Motec or Cybex, even if they have additional features, most likely, which the OAM ECU won't have, like flat shift or anti-lag or race start. I don't know if that's a, a thing for you, but I think if you want to have that, you will still need to buy a Motec or a Cymex, I don't think the OEM ECU will be able to support that. But there's a few questions I need answers to, and I think maybe you have some questions as well. If you do have some questions, please write them in the comments. I'm gonna talk with a few friends this week quite extensively about the cracked ECU and what are we able to do and uh, what is possible within the limits of the OEM ECU. And if you have any questions, please let me know and I'm gonna ask them uh, for you and I will give you the answers. Maybe I, I will make a FAQ video in the end or in, by the end of this week. And this won't be a standard Saturday video because I wanted to put this one out there quite fast. So that's why I'm filming it right now in the middle of the week and I'm gonna edit it and I'm gonna release it some maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after tomorrow. So yeah, that's it. Good news, ECU is cracked. We can have the maps we wanted. One of the things you need to know, uh, ECU, Tune is more likely to be discovered uh, by the techs at Toyota than just the box. But the box is more obvious because you have a box in your engine department or compartment. So they live side by side and uh, there's a few reasons for one and a few reasons for the other. But I don't think one is better than the other, maybe just for certain things. One is definitely better than the other and yeah. So we're most likely gonna add E85 if that's possible, cams, uh, valve springs and uh, whatnot. Yeah, we'll see. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I hope I can answer them by the end of the week. I have some questions myself. so. Let's see where this goes. So, good to have you here. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.